second time you got a very good quote on Euripides. Euripides said talk sense to a fool and he calls you foolish. Let us look into this one word called fool. Who is a fool? First of all, there are no fools in this world. Then you mean fools are created. So where is, did this word fool came? If you call a person fool, then you mean the person, that fool who was created is also a fool. That means you mean the parents, the God is a fool? Yes, of course, God is a fool for the materialistic world who has got lots of money. For the atheist to believe there is no God, then of course, then they created fools. Who is a fool according to you? I will tell you, you can listen and you can also plan your strategy. Let us have a dialogue, a discussion on fool. Why people call a person a fool? A person who is a fool is got disconnected from the society. He becomes a single elephant in the forest. A single elephant in the forest is dangerous. They call him Ronin. Ronin means a person without a master. Person without a master means doesn't mean a person without a guru like me or a saint or no. Person without a master means a person who is not connected to his family, to his joint family, to his family tree. Then he is a fool. He talks nonsense. Otherwise, before he talks, he thinks twice because non-stop somebody is there to rectify, trim his branches and make him flower beautiful. Talk sense to a fool, you will be this said, who is a fool? You become a fool only when you don't utilize every part of your body. Hey, it's like a pint of shit in a cup of vanilla ice cream. Cream. The whole body is powerfully created which no scientist, no nuclear scientist, neither the super supreme power has got the power to create such a body which moves without paying a single pine for the, for the movements of the body, for the eye it is watching, for the ear it is hearing, for the mouth it talks, everything so powerful. So when such a powerful organ is given and if you don't maintain it, you don't polish it, then you are a fool. So there is no fools at all. But how did that fool, the name, the word fool came into the market? Because they wanted fools. They become the masters, you become the slave. They were looking for slaves. So how to create a slave and call him a fool without giving, giving him the opportunity to utilize his every part of his body? Shut your bloody mouth. Keep quiet. All those languages forced, suppressed. To come out and then war, war. Euripides said, Talk sense to a fool, and he calls you foolish. Now, let us come to the point of talking to a fool and then uh, making him to call you foolish. You 
you talk sense to what sense are you talking to whom? When you look at a person, when you know he's discouraged from family, of course, then you do not have to advise him because he's not looking for advice. You only want to have questions and you don't have answers like this. Professor, he asked for an appointment with the Zen master and after five years he got the appointment letter that he can come and meet the master, the professor. Mm -hmm. Pulled out as many books as possible, created as many questions, and he went into the master, Zen master. The moment he met the Zen master, he was so frightened whether Zen master might give five minutes or one hour. He within that period, he should have finish all what he is having in his mind. So he's nonstop kept on talking, kept on asking questions to the Zen master. Zen master took the kettle. With water and started boiling the water. He gave a cup to the professor. He made tea and he started pouring the tea into the cup of the professor. The cup was filled and it started overflowing and the professor shouted at the Zen master. Master, master said, what? He said, the cup is overflowing. And the Zen master said, is the cup overflowing? Your mind is overflowing. Did you come to me? Did you come to the master? Did you come to me? Did you come to the tree? Did you come to the animal? Did you come to the nature? To observe and love. Did you come to your wife? To observe her. And love her to melt with her, to be one with her. Instead, you are throwing all rubbish into me. Come to your master, the cup, so that I can pour fresh tea into your cup. The cup is not so talking. European is a dog sends to a fool, and he calls you foolish. Of course, what he doesn't want when he talks. You can understand, he has not come to listen. Then he calls you foolish foolish when you talk too much because he is not looking for answers. Majority of not of them are not looking for answers. Yes. If they are really interested in a master when they come to Rakum school, then they will not ask for, where is Guruji? I want to talk to Guruji. No, no, no. They can see Swami Rakumji. They can see Guruji is always in the field, either with the cow dung or with the sewage water or in the garden growing vegetables and fruits or uh, trimming the garden or cutting the grass. Non-stop or in the kitchen dishwashing. If they wanted to meet, then they must move with the wash. And in that washing, in that cleaning, in that trimming, they got all the answers. Because after all, all your questions is what? Your questions are nothing but your suppressed, borrowed knowledge. And we come to Rakum Guruji or Swami Rakum to washing the dishes. You wash with him and you become observant and you become conscious. Your dirt is cleansed. And you, for the first time, you see there is dirt. Like the boy who came from Hokkaido to Tokyo to meet the Zen master. He knocked the door and the master opened the door and he said, I have come to learn Zen. And the master catches him by the collar, drags him to the first floor and threw him out from the window. He broke both the legs and both the hands. Hospitalized for six months. Again, he comes back a second time and said, Master, what is Zen? He shuts the door on his face. The boy goes back and says, Third time, he knocked the door. Master opened the door. He bowed to the master. He didn't ask any questions. Master bowed. Master turned around and he was started sweeping, and the boy started sweeping. He stayed with the master for 20 be one of the greatest Zen masters in the world. That is practical. Be practical when you go to your mom in the house, in the kitchen. Don't ask for food, dear husband. Move with your wife, cook together. Like in Radha Krishna. Of course, Krishna or Radha feeds Krishna. But here I am telling both husband should 
put the foot into the mouth of the wife and mouth will speak. My wife will speak. As when both of you speak, the, the, you don't take it. That was the Japanese philosophy of business that they keep on pouring the green tea into the business partner's cup till it is empty. And he will never fill it up. Business partner will keep observing his cup, observing his heart and his mind. Oh, that observation is very important. And he sees the cup is heavy, he keeps pouring. And if the business partner is drinking, that means he enjoyed that pouring of the tea. Did you not see me taking the coffee when you gave me the coffee? When the student challenged the master, 12 years I was with you, you taught me nothing, I'm leaving your monastery. And master said, I didn't teach you anything. When you gave me coffee, did you see me taking it so much of a lot? Did you watch me walking? I was not walking, I was broke.